Let us discuss this example of series of function. We have to find the value of that limit. Limit extends to 0 and that series we have. Our first target is to prove that that series converges uniformly and then we will find the value of that limit. So let us write the given series which we have already written. What is fn of x? It's very simple. It is cos nx upon n n plus 1. I'm going to use Veristra's M test to prove that it converges uniformly. In Veristra's M test, we take mod of fn of x. Let us take the same. Consider mod fn of x, fn of x. What is fn of x? Let us put it here. It is cos nx upon n n plus 1. So here n is a natural number. So n into n plus 1 will be a positive real number. So there is a no need of mod. So that's why I will take mod to only numerator. So cos nx mod cos nx upon n n plus 1. So you know that mod cos theta is always less than or equal to 1. So that's why we can write this is less than or equal to 1 upon n n plus 1. So the reason is mod cos theta is less than or equal to 1. After that, if you reduce the denominator value will get increased. So that's why if you remove 1, you will have this is 1 upon n into n, n square, I am calling it as mn. Since we know that in Veristra's m test, mn is required, so I am taking this as mn. So clearly, one thing we can write clearly, summation 1 upon n square and running from 1 to infinity, it's p series getting we call it as a p series where p which is equal to 2 greater than 1 so 1 upon n square we have so when we have a series like this we call it as a p series what is p p is 2 we know one result if we have a p series p greater than 1 then it it is convergent series so that's why we can say it is convergent and hence Convergence. So this is a convergent series. So that means summation mn and running from 1 to infinity is convergent series. Since we have called it as mn, so we get summation mn is a convergent series. So the Veristra's M test says if mn series is convergent, then given series of function also con converges uniformly. So therefore, by Veristra's M test, Veristra's m test we can write summation cos nx upon n n plus 1 and running from 1 to infinity converges uniformly on r on r so in this way we proved the given series of function converges uniformly after that we have to find the value of this limit but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so just now we proved that series of function converges uniformly. So I'm going to use one property of uniformly convergent series of functions. See here fn of x is equal to cos nx upon n n plus 1. So cos is continuous function you know. So therefore fn of x that is also continuous on r and that series converges uniformly to some function f. So that's why one beautiful result we have that is that f is also continuous and we have this type of inequality equality. So that means when we have a summation when we apply the limit so you can easily interject. So with the help of this property I have expressed the given limit in this way right I have called it as L. So we have to find the value of L. So because of that property I could interchange summation and limit. So let us apply the limit. Let us see what will happen. So this is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity. If you apply the limit, you will have cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So this is 1 upon n, n plus 1. We have to find the value of this summation, this series. Getting So one adjustment I am going to do. That is summation n running from 1 to infinity. Let me write here. 1 we can replace by n plus 1 minus n divided by n n plus 1. So see what will happen n and minus n will get cancelled to each other and you will have 1 again. Okay. So after that I will divide separately. Let us see what will happen if you divide separately. Summation n running from 1 to infinity. If you divide separately this bracket upon denominator so that bracket will get cancelled. We will have 1 by n. 
minus if you divide n by this denominator n n will get cancelled and we will have 1 upon n plus 1 right so we have to find its value so i am going to use sequence of partial sum to find the value of this series okay so let me call it as sn let sn be a be a sequence of partial sum okay sequence of partial sum so therefore sn is equal to so you are familiar with this term sequence of partial sum that means we add first n terms so if you add n terms that that means i'm putting n is equal to 1 2 3 4 in this way if i put n is equal to 1 we will have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 plus if i put n is equal to 2 we will have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus if you put n is equal to 3 we will have 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus and so on the last term will be same 1 by n minus 1 upon 1 n plus 1 right so what will happen this minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 will get cancelled minus 3 by 1 by 3 and plus 1 by 3 will get cancelled similarly minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 will get cancelled in this way we will reach up to this step that means this 1 by n also will get cancelled with the previous term only first and last term will be remaining so therefore we get this is 1 upon 1 means 1 and here 1 upon n plus 1 so if you apply the limit so limit n tends to infinity sn if you apply the limit here this is value of sn getting 1 is a constant so it will be same but if you apply the limit limit n tends to infinity you will have 1 upon infinity which is 0 so that's why its value is 1 so that means given sequence of partial sum converges to 1 so that's why this series also convergent and converges to 1 so therefore i can write so therefore l is equal to okay we are finding l actually l is equal to we had reached up to this step summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 by n minus 1 upon n plus 1 and we have got its value 1 so the value of l is 1 make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye